Hi guys, Piotr here, the Slide Finance Global YouTube channel and as usual, it's my big pleasure to be with you today. Well, we are going to try to find the trend using the very, uh, very uh, well-known uh, indicators and we'll try, to, we'll try to prove that it might work with some homework and research from your side. So without the further delay, let's jump straight into the video. All right, guys, so before we start, as usual, you have to do your own homework. You have to do your own research. Otherwise, um, nothing we are uh, discussing is going to work. You have to do uh, plenty of tests, uh, hundreds of tests uh, to try to check uh, if something we are talking about uh, is suitable for yourself so you have to recognize what kind of the uh, person you are what kind of the trader uh, you are well also if you are trying to blindly trade each and every signal uh, whatever the strategy is uh, in the long run you are not going to survive yes i'm going to repeat in the long run you are not going to survive you have to uh, apply some filters and again the filters uh, which are great for me for example right not necessarily might uh, be good for you so if you are already trading and if you are uh, already successful you may try to adopt this strategy particular to your trading arsenal with your existing filters right but if you are a new i might try to uh, tell you about the few uh, things then you have to think about the more things try to uh, test each and uh, every filter and trying to check if it's a uh, work for you so what kind before we we jump into the strategy what kind of the filters uh, we might think about well uh for this particular one uh it's going to work um during the london and during the new york session uh so uh, with this particular strategy i would rather avoid um low liquidity or non-liquidity hours uh i would rather watch out for the signals uh, during the uh, London Open, around the London Close, New York Open and uh, the time we have both London and New York uh, and the New York session. The next thing could be uh, that I would uh, try to, uh, especially for the beginners, I would try to trade uh, in the direction of the overall market sentiment based on the higher time frame for example right uh, you may want to trade uh, add as a filter some kind of the price action or technical analysis and using the confirmation uh, to make the uh, to make the entry right you want you may want to avoid or definitely you have to avoid the ranging markets right uh, it, it's not gonna it's not gonna uh, work as I mentioned we are trying to find the trend here all right so what is all about well very easy first thing first uh, parabolic SAR you have to apply uh, with the most common setups um, parabolic SAR that's the first thing first the second thing is your uh, MACD uh, with the 12, 26 and the 9, so standard setup. Of course, doing your homework, trying to polish the strategy, you may try to work with the numbers, right? You may try to work with uh, FIB numbers, for example, here and try to check if it's uh, working, uh, if it's working uh, for you. So it's a very old strategy using the very well-known uh, indicators 
and uh, avoiding trying to avoid the uh, trying to avoid the bridging market and uh, using the, the uh, current market sentiment it really or price action it really really may work for you so uh, what's the what's the setups of course if the parabolic <coughs> if the parabolic sar right is going to the upside we are looking for long entry and we are looking for long entry only when we have the um, macd above uh, signal on the <coughs> uh, cross when it comes to the lines as well as the cross when it comes to the uh, I'm, I'm calling this forest right uh, so we have to have um, all these three things uh, in place uh, to try to trade and uh, when it comes to the when it comes to the stop loss uh, well uh, below the signal candle so it's gonna be very tight stop i'm using 15 minute chart in that case all right 15 minute chart in that case stops are gonna be very very tight that's the good thing uh, okay the, there we go 15 minute chart and you have to look for at least to our risk reward right so if i'm using if i'm using a 15 minute chart uh checking sentiment could be uh on the uh, if you are trying to make uh, day trading it could be like uh, based on the one hour or four hour if you are looking for some uh swing uh, you might want to look for the sentiment also on the uh, daily chart it's uh, totally up to you again as i mentioned you have to try to you have to try to check them uh, what is suitable for yourself so let's let's check f few latest examples uh, just uh, based on just based on what we see here uh, first think first trying to trying to make it trying to make it totally blindly showing um, the crosses so we have the parabolic star starts here we have the cross cross and uh, of course market we have to wait for the confirmation uh, so the market um, is looking like this on this particular on this particular cross uh, there was uh, in that case possible stop loss based on the reversal signals right but then you might want to renew that one and there you go that was like this so as i mentioned when you are trying to r right if you are 50 50 uh, then you are let's say you are risking um, you are uh, doing the within the five winning trades you are doing the uh, 10 points and within the five losing trades you are losing five points right so you are still uh, good uh, good to go uh, the the next thing here still without any kind of the uh, filters uh, to confirm right there is a cross over here there you go so you got here mm, for example right now a few more examples before we are going to try to apply a few filters all right a few more examples there you go the next one right it was quiet uh, it was quite okay another one over here the break of macd okay this one is good as uh, well what you wanna avoid is when we are getting the signal after really really monster candle so the news trading is what you wanna avoid as well right because we, okay we got the signal but we already felt like 30 40 peeps right so trying to 
trying to open the position here it's not going work at all right because where is your stop that's what you want to avoid so finally let's have a look when it comes to applying some filters right that might uh, that might be uh, that might be good uh, as well here all right so what i'm gonna uh, what i'm gonna do here i'm going to apply some trend line okay here you go and for example to the upside as well like this right so now based on just trend lines right the latest signal i i've shown you the line it was also the hit of the top of the trend line right the signal over here it was the false break so trying to go long uh, was uh, was the good idea the signal over here at the bottom was good idea right another one over here was good idea so again you have to use your imagination your imagination is the only uh, thing is going to stop you to try to uh, make it workable uh, for yourself so please leave the comment below if you like uh, the strategy uh, please leave the comment below if you were trying to trade uh, on the demo based uh, on your experience when it comes to the doing the tests and please like subscribe thank you very much it was my pleasure to be with you wish you great next trading session see you around take care and goodbye